Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today video is about the Cummins Power Command PCC 2100 baseboard complete wiring diagram video about the explanation. This is the part number two. We are uploaded part one before that we are explained some terminals in a part one this is the part number two if you are not watched part one please go back first watch the part one and then come to watch part two for complete understanding the wiring diagram of PCC 2100 baseboard wiring diagram so before the starting the video I have small request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos so let's get started in part 1 we are explained TB1 customer input and TB2 customer output are explained in part 1 also the J7 connector we have connector in this Cummins PCC 2100 baseboard have this some TB and sub connector J1, J2, J3, J8, J9, J6 ok and today video we are explain J1, J4, J8 and also J2 ok so let's get started from j1 as you can see here we have j1 we have eight eight pins in j8 connectors okay j1 pin number one is going to emergency nc nc point okay NC mean normally closed. J1 pin number 2 is going to emergency NC number 1 or emergency have 2 NC 2 NO or 3 NC 3 NO. Okay, as you can see, here we have 2 NC and 2 NO. J1 pin number 2 is going to emergency stop button NC number 1 ok J1 pin number 3 is going to emergency stop NO and J1 pin number 4 is going to emergency stop NO 2 ok this is normally open number 1 and this is normally open number 2 ok as you can see this is our emergency push button as you can see this is the normally close contacts ok and this is the normally open context when we press the emergency push button this NC converted to NO and NO converted to NC ok J1 pin number 5 is or used for auto operation generator run in auto operation ok and J1 pin number 6 is used for generator run in manual mode ok and J1 pin number 7 is used to switch off ok and J1 pin number 8 is ground as you can see here we are applying a ground on each pins to activate when we acti activate the auto mode we need to apply the ground on auto as you can see here we, we have a, a, a switches rotary switch when we rotate the switch to the auto position this getting ground from from J1 pin number 8 and connected to auto when we select the manual mode this disconnect ground from the auto and connected with the manual and also J7 pin number 1 is off this is not connected with any source or any ground so move forward this is the J1 
connector has been explained okay j4 j4 wire number 4 is going to generator voltage input line 1 and also line 2 to j j4 pin number 12 and j4 pin number 20 and j4 pin number 27 three phases and one neutral okay or you can see v1 v2 v3 vn or you can n l1 l2 l3 and also neutral okay this is the generator three phase and neutral input supply terminals okay this has been explained now this is the j8 okay j8 pin number 24 is ac1 j8 pin number 22 is ac2 and j8 pin number 23 is ac3 and j8 pin number 13 and pin number 5 as you can see here as we have uh, if we have permanent magnet generator as you can see this is for PMG PMG have three phases one two three here we have one two inserted here okay and also the excitation positive and negative which two wire is coming from the exciter field wiring as you can see positive input of the exciter and negative input of the some time is this wire is mentioned with f1 f2 r x and double x okay this has been explained j8 now move to the j2 connectors okay J2 connector is used for the generator indication lines. As you can see, this one. This is the ribbon type of the cables. Okay. Which is coming from the PCC 2100 this board and coming to the your indication line enunciator okay as you can see here we have some pins in this connector j2 1 2 3 2 15 MOS number one also pin number two is ground pin number three is a serial clock and four number is ground serial a cell b cell c cell d and vcc and also ground and vcc and also ground and also B plus E and also VCC this is the ribbon type of the cable which is connected to the all indication lights as you can see when we run the generator in a remote start this this light will glow generator not in auto that light is be, will be not glow Generator shut down, this light is blowing, flashing. Warning, this light is flashing. Generator run, this light is blowing. And also, this 4 is configurable. This is the programmable. You can program this 4 light for your required. Okay. So, this is the part number 2 of the Cummins Power Command PCC 2100 baseboard series. I hope you will understand with this video and the last part of the video is to finish we are covering all the wiring diagram of the Cummins power command PCC 2100 cities and the next we are explaining J6 and also J9, J10 and J11 we are covering all the while in diagram explanation of the Cummins power command PCC 2100 series. So, thanks for watching part number 2. See you all next time in part number 3. Goodbye.